guys, Evelyn here on Romantic Gigs Loser, and today I'm going to show you guys how I make a GIF and how I crop it into a circle or oval. Um, so for that, you want to go to File and go into Import, Video Frames to Layers, and we're going to have it load, but it mine's already loaded because I preloaded it. And I'm going to click this video here, which is um, CLC's uh, Pepe, and we're just going to use that because it's the video I have at the file folder I have right now. And we're going to click Select Range Only, click li Limit to every, every two frames. I'm just going to go ahead and just use our black um, little sidebar here to kind of scroll to where you want. And I think I'm going to do. Right about here. We're going to click OK. And it's going to go ahead and make our gift for us. Um, as you see here in our sidebar, we have our gifts. We have mostly of Eugen, but we have a little bit of Yeon in the back. So we're just going to delete those layers right off the bat. I'm going to click one, hold shift, click the layer, the last of the layer you don't want, and then they all highlight, and you're going to drag them into the garbage below. We're going to go to window, and we're going to go to timeline to make our animation. And then here in the background, you're going to delete the empty frames as well, like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to crop it to a smaller size, but I'm just going to, just going to go to image, image size, and I'm going to go 500, and it's going to automatically go to 281. Now that's going to render, we're going to go ahead and grab a circle, we're going to go to our marquee tool, grab elliptical tool, we're going to go ahead and hold shift and just make a circle, oh that's a fixed size, my bad, normal, we're going to hold shift and drag a, a perfect circle. I'm just going to move it to where you want, and then on that, make sure that the first layer in your timeline is selected, and the first frame in your layer selected, and we're going to go ahead and click that, and it's going to make a circle. And what you're going to do is here on the adjustments on your layers, you're going to hold Alt and drag the layer mask up, and it's going to affect every layer like so.